Well, hello everyone. Welcome back, guys. Hope you all are doing well. This is Muhammad Badrudja, and today we are going to solve lab number three from Web Cache Poisoning. Very sorry because it's been more than one week, and I couldn't record the video for this lab three, and you have to wait for a long time. Before going further, this little disclaimer as always for you. This video and its content are only for educational and awareness purpose, and I do not support any unethical or illegal act. That's been said. We are covering, as I mentioned before, that uh, this vulnerability occur because of two kind of flaws. The first one is cache design flaw, and the second one is cache implementation flaw. So first of all, we are covering um, cache design flaw. Okay. So here we already covered two labs. First one was cache web cache poisoning with an unkeyed header. Fine. The second request was the second lab was web cache poisoning with unkeyed cookie. Okay, now in today's lab we will dive a bit deeper. So here in today's lab we are going to poison uh, and exploit this vulnerability by using multiple headers, more more than one header. So I already open up the lab here. As you can see, this is our lab. So before going to solve this lab, let's see the agenda first because to understand the condition is very important. So here, this lab contains a web cache poisoning vulnerability that is only exploitable when you use multiple headers to craft a malicious request. Okay, a user visits the home page roughly once a minute. So to solve this lab, poison the cache with a response that executes alert document.cookie in the visitor's browser. So enable the web proxy on the browser, go to the HTTP history, make sure intercept is off and let's adjust a bit so we can see both of these windows simultaneously and let's just click home. So here we have the request. So the first thing we will see that whether the cache is placed in between us and the server. So choose any request and here you can see in the request there is nothing much interesting that seems as common as other requests. But if you go to see the response you will find cache control have maximum age 30. Okay. And here, because that was the first request on the very first second, so the age was zero. Uh, and because the first request came directly from the server, so there is no time. But X cache is also important. And here you can see missing. That means this response did not come from the cache directly. We get this response from the server. Um, okay, so if I take this request to the repeater and we send this request again uh, because the 30 second has been passed while I was explaining so we got miss send it again and this time we get hit here and on the ninth second we get this hit and that means this response we found came from the cache. Uh, the second important part here is if you see the body part of this response, you will find that uh, this response also calling some other resources like resource slash js slash tracking dot js. So this tracking dot js file is also called and it's called from the server itself, right? So and once it's being called, we can see the request is separately generated to load this resource. So I'm going to take this request and send it to the repeater. Come to the repeater and send this request again. And as we can see, this is the content of that file tracking.js, right? So we will try to feed something here so that we can then poison that response into the cache, right? Okay, so from the previous experience, we know that we can try some headers also. So x for worded host and let's say example.com or you can uh, try test php.volnweb.com anything you want i'm trying right now here example.com and let's send the request and 
we are not getting the response uh, just cancel that and go back send one more time yeah we are getting the response here so maybe we place the we place the header in the wrong place because here the connection is closed uh, let's see come here and here we will try to feed that so x forwarded host and the host is going to be example.com fine so let's send this request again and this time we can see nothing is changed everything seems same nothing is changed okay you can see this resource also not changed and we are getting 200 okay fine so that means there could be something else there could be another um, header so we need to first of all mine that header and to do that i right click on it and go to the extensions inside extensions go to the parameter miner guess parameter and guess header this one okay leave everything same and just go hit okay go to the extender and go to the output tab and the one attack queued so come back to the repeater and just send this request multiple times go to the extender and as you can see the brute force of the header has been initiated now it will take a bit time so i'm going to pause the video because it will take maybe five minutes welcome back guys and as you can see we found one header which is x forwarded schema so let's try to use this but before going to apply this do we know what is x forwarded schema so i'm going to see that here google.com and these days actually most of the applications uh, use x forwarded proto uh, let's see um, x forwarded schema let's see this is basically used in between uh, user and the load balancer to identify the protocol http or https so right click let's try so as i said these days most of the application uses x forwarded proto okay uh, this is very much similar to schema to actually find out uh, the protocol so as you can see this uh, standard de facto standard header for identifying the protocol http or https that a client used to connect to your proxy or load balancer fine um, like uh, amazon uh, google cloud okay all those cloud services mostly use this x forwarded proto but the x forwarded schema is also uh, same like that so um, go back to the proxy here and we find x forwarded schema so let's go and try to apply that um, and here i would like to enable the burp proxy fine this is this is our lab okay back here send this again and as you can see there is no change in the request but what we found we found here x forwarded schema so i'm going to change it to x forwarded schema and x forwarded schema as i mentioned it is used to find out the protocol whether it is https or http so i'm going to say https and send this again so once we put https we find another time there is no difference but if we try http let's see what it's going to show us and again it's giving us 200 because uh, it's coming from the cache i think so we need to wait until the cache is cleared 24 25 28 and as you can see 
this time we get here one three or two response that means the request is now redirecting us somewhere and where it's redirecting us it's redirecting us to the same uh, same url to the same host what we have as our lab but its location is endpoint its endpoint is resource slash js slash tracking dot js so what if we try here something like x forwarded host and this time if i say test php dot one web dot com let's see because why i am now putting this header because this header instead of giving us 200 response 200 is uh, response status code and sending us directly to the uh, response page instead of that it's actually redirecting us so if it's redirecting us to there so we can also uh, mention here the new endpoint the new host and let's see if in that case it is going to change the host here or not so send that and as you can see it's now redirecting us because of x forwarded schema and it's using http not https and once we put here x forwarded host and we define a host here now its location is changed to uh, the attacker controlled or attacker given host fine and as you can see now it's trying to load this resource tracking dot g tracking dot js from this server so now come back to the lab and we have exploit server here and this exploit server you can imagine or you can consider this exploit server is your or attacker controlled server now attacker host this server with this registered domain but the thing is to trick the server or to get the malicious response what we need to tell here we need to tell the server okay uh, you need to load this resource from from my server right and here in the server i will try to create same endpoint what this server is trying to load so i'm going to take this part because it's trying to load this tracking.js file from this endpoint from this directory so we need to create the same directory structure here fine and in the body we can put any javascript let's say alert cyber sec radar fine and store it now this is attacker controlled server and attacker is pub attacker is publishing tracking.js resource from this directory which is same as the target and we are publishing it right now come back to the web suite here and here instead of x forwarded for host value which is test php dot web what we are going to do we are going to feed here this attacker control domain so it will redirect the request here okay and now just send this request um okay because this is coming from the cache so we need to wait until the cache is cleared now age is 25 30 and now as you can see now it's redirecting us and redirecting us where redirecting us to the attacker controlled server which has this tracking.js resource inside resource slash js directory now <clears throat> send it again that means now this response is already feed in the cache so anyone come back here try this and we have the alert here 
Now, the thing is, the lab is not uh, solved because we need to generate this alert. So, go back to the exploit server. And here, instead of that, I'm going to put document.cookie, store this, and go back to the web browser. Let's try to hit enter. No, because it's loading correct resource or correct URL. So what we need to do, send the request again. And we need to wait until this 30 second has passed and the cache is cleared. 20, 22, 30, and now it's feed into the cache come back here huh it's already get that the request is the lab is solved because this time it takes the resource tracking dot js from the cache so as you can see alert is generated but there is no value because we were not logged in there was not logged in cookie but the alert was generated so I hope you understand if you have any query please put your query in the comment section I will try to reply as soon as possible and see you in the next video bye